So it's night time right now. So I'm just going to show you how it looks like when it's fully in the dark. It's pretty amazing. So just let me play just one of the video over here. The all the reason is because I already have a cable box that I previous in the previous video I mentioned uh, help to actually organize all the cable. So this become a little bit redundant. So there's some things that we just guys. What's up, Nick here? So today uh, we have something interesting. So the other day uh, you saw that together with my new sofa, uh, I actually bought a projector stand and as well as a projector screen. So uh, the reason being is because we are expecting um, a projector and we just got it today, which is right here. Ta-da! Yeah, so this is a Lumos projector. Um, I'm just going to unbox it to show it to you. Let me first set up the station. Yeah, so um, we have it over here. I'm going to do the unboxing with you guys. So this is actually the whole projector. It is, the package is really, really small. So inside the packaging, um, there's a card and an instruction book and this is the actual device. It is really very small. So this is like a can of green tea. It's about the same height and take out about the same space. Really very small. So from what I read online, this device is only 400 gram. Um, it is those where it's really convenient if you are going to bring it overseas or you know you are on a motorcycle road trip and you want to have a movie experience. Um, this is something that is really very portable. I can feel that it's really light. It's almost as heavy as a can of drink. Um, yeah, just look at the portability of it. It's just so small. So let me open up the rest of the box. Inside here, we have a charger. There's a stand, a HDMI cable, and a remote controller. So let me keep everything first. So there's actually good reason why um, I opt for this and not um, Luma's other um, option. Um, and the reason is because this is really portable. Uh, I want something that is really small. In fact, this is not even necessary. Um, you should be able to put it on the table, uh, maybe tilt up the angle a bit, and include this attachment with it. And you should be able to like, you know, put it anywhere. And that's really nice that they provide this together with it. I'm going to set this aside first. And let us open it up together. I like the color, it's a gunmetal color. Looks really good. Okay, let me set up the screen, then I'll turn on this and show it to you. Yeah, here it goes. Let me turn off the light. So there is a focus sensor over here that you can adjust. So I'm just going to adjust it very shortly. Here it goes. So while we're starting out, just want to share with you guys uh, a few features that it has. Uh, one of which is the massive screen on size. So you can see right now, in fact, it's still bigger than my screen. And my screen is a... Uh, I think a 80 inch or 100 inch screen. So it actually provide a lot of um, viewing area for a very small device like this. Um, so one of the way that I thought of using it is to project it onto my ceiling. 
um, so that you know um, we will be able to watch it. So it, it will look something like this, right? On the top, yeah. So that works um, very well, especially for those that don't have a screen like us. And you just want to like you know watch it in your bedroom or, in fact, any white wall. But of course, you you having the screen will give you the best experience. I'm not saying that white wall doesn't work. So uh, I saw on their website that they are they have this like a premium DLP tech uh, with one thousand five hundred lumens. I did a quick research for one thousand five hundred lumens. It's actually sufficient to project up to eighty inch screen. Uh, in fact, up to a hundred inch. Um, with a good growing experience, um, this can help to retain like the high brightness, um, and the color is more vivid in darkness. It's not grainy. It's not washed out. And um, you are thinking to yourself like, "Hey, this is a portable. This is a portable uh, projector. What makes it portable? How do we define portability? Uh, one is that it has its own inbuilt battery, which uh, and as well as they have a speaker at the back over here." So this back speaker really, really matters. Um, unlike other projector where it doesn't have a Bluetooth speaker, this provides speakers for you. So you can really like enjoy your show. As you can see on the screen over here, there's also like Netflix and YouTube building. Um, there's also a Google store whereby you can just go into the Google store and actually download pretty much anything you want. So this is actually running on an Android platform, um, Android 9.0 operating system. Uh, which make it really flexible in terms of what you want to do. This is the quick description, but let me set this up properly and uh, I'll go through with you a little bit more details. So yeah, uh, I have it all set up, um, log in all my accounts. Yeah, so um, let us play a video together and we'll see how it goes. Because they're not. What if it's adopted by a king? Yeah, because I hear the king is looking to adopt. <laughs> but we're not ready to have two babies. That doesn't matter. Yeah, so... As you can see over here, I think the screen does look very nice. Um, it is a little bit unfortunate that um, my window can't close fully. But um, yeah, the image is still pretty clear. Uh, a 1500 lumen really does help to project the um, image onto the screen perfectly well. Um, uh, yeah, and you can hear the Bluetooth speaker that is built in as well. It's really clear. So I think some of you might notice that uh, I'm actually using the touchpad over here at the top. And if you try to move the touchpad, you'll see that there's a cursor. This cursor will in fact help you to click anything you want. So for example, there's a back button. There's also a home button. And as well as a menu button. So, and right at the top, there's actually this like a, um, what you call it, a volume uh, rocker. So you can see right at the top. It's a bit reflective, but yeah, there's a volume rocker, there's a, a touchpad, and a menu, home, and back button. But yeah. So additionally, there's also other function that would be very useful for you. Uh, there's a USB port. Uh, this is the charger and a HDMI cable. So say you want to use a HDMI cable and connect it to, let's say, your computer, or uh, any devices, this is going to work well as well. Uh, or let's say if you want to use a keyboard, uh, you can use, make use of the USB, plug in your keyboard, and you can actually use the keyboard or the mouse. So it's really, really nifty. So one other uh, main feature that it has is that it's able to cast your mobile phone um, onto the screen directly. Uh, so um, with that, you can use it to like, you know, use your Spotify, you can play your mobile game or even, you know, have a call, Zoom call uh, using the big screen at the comfort of your own bed. So I'm just going to connect it quickly right now and show you how it looks like. So I have to use a secondary camera to show you, but basically you go under 
selection and on your mobile basically just link it up and it will show at the top of the list so once you link up your mobile phone now is on display so you have to go into let's say um, mobile legend for example you can look at the speed of loading it's practically the same pretty good yeah so you can enjoy a more thorough experience a more um a big screen experience um of course playing mobile legend might not be the best idea but you can get a remote control then you you will be able to connect the your phone to the screen then use a remote to actually play the game i mean <laughs> this experience has got to be really really good right it looks so big and the sound coming from the system sounds very nice as well yeah so it's night time right now so i'm just going to show you how it looks like when it's fully in the dark it's pretty amazing so just let me play just one of the video over here the at all the reason is because i already have a cable box that I previous in the previous video I mentioned uh, help to actually organize all the cable so this become a little bit redundant so there are some things that we just don't use it at all um, and it become uh, a wasteful item it just take up space uh, those are all the number twos that is inside this list there's quite a number of them like this mirror mirror ooh, okay let's give you a pass luck but like the magnetic organizer uh, so that's just roughly how it looks like in the dark in comparison, you can see that the image is significantly sharper. It looks a lot crispier and nicer. So yeah, all in all, I think um, this is really a very good product. Um, especially if you are those whereby, you know, you want to be able to bring your item anywhere. Um, it, it, or in fact, you just want a, a simple home cinema experience. Um, this will work really, really well. It's very portable. It has a very big screen. Um, the lighting uh, on it is good. It has a good quality of audio. And um, it built, it's built in with all the nifty functions that you will need it with Netflix, YouTube, um, wireless mirror casting so that you can cast your mobile phone. Maybe Netflix doesn't have the show. You find it somewhere else. You want to cast it on the screen. Um, yeah, but I mean, um, if you are still not fully sure whether this is something that you want to purchase, then you can always go to Luma's website. They have hundreds of five-star reviews for you to actually um, see what other people think about this device. And if you are interested, this device is currently priced, uh, I think at $599, they are having a promotion uh, down from $999. Um, yeah, it's available on their website, uh, which is www.lumasprojector.com slash nano. Yeah, so um, check out at their website. Uh, I'll put in the link at my description below as well. Um, yeah, I think all in all, a great machine. No regret. I think it's really convenient to use. It's going to bring so much more interesting adventure to um, my motorcycle trip that I have planned upcoming. And if you guys are interested in that content, let me know. Uh, I'll try my best to firm it down because after all, I want to enjoy the road trip. I want to enjoy the experience um, but, it, but if you want to I can maybe make up a small clip of the trip itself yeah if not um, as always thanks for watching uh, I'll see you in the next one ciao